so I, I did like what I saw out of LeGarrette Blunt. Yeah. You know, for he, he looks like he's catching the ball a lot better. You know, he's he's still not where the Bucks would probably like him as far as picking up the blitzes and if he can just, learn how to pick up a blitz and see all that happening in front of him. Well, if he could learn to just run instead of dancing in the backfield. Yeah. He's, and he I, has and, a little Michael Pittman in him. I know. Well, you know, that's what they do in Oregon. They, like, they just sit there in the backfield. They wait for the hole to open up, and then they go. That's the thing. Sometimes you, you got to go before the hole's there. You can't there. do that in the NFL. No. If you do that, Because sometimes the hole ain't going to be there, and you got to make stuff happen on your own. That, never mind. I was going to say something dirty. Yeah. Come on. Mine out of the gutter. <laughs> be a professional. But, you know, it's just, it, yeah. But and in his own defense, sometimes holes just aren't there. And that's, that's when you just got to put your head down and when get How what big you he can. is, he just needs to go. Yeah, there, there should be no uh, shuffling, pushing, footing, tap dancing. Was it a that. screenplay he had where he ran for like 40 yards after he caught the ball? Yeah. He's very quick for being as huge as he is. Oh, yeah. I mean, we knew, we knew that last year. But I just like, I saw it again. I'm just like, wow, that boy can run. Yeah, I mean, I think they, I'm pr- I mean, Based on that play alone, there should be at least a couple more plays in the playbook as we speak and put in just for him catching the ball out of the backfield. Uh, he's got good hands. He had good hands back in Oregon. Um, I mean, shit, he's the size of a damn receiver. 